with protests against the Israeli military forces entering their second month. The Palestinian youth are still marching in mass against Tel Aviv's policies. The Palestinians decided to protest this time at the settlement of Bezgot, which lies in the heart of the Palestinian city of Al Bire. The protest quickly turned into violence as Israeli troops opened fire at the Palestinian protesters. The protesters are calling for international intervention. القضية الفلسطينية والحقوق الفلسطينية بمعنى قررت شرعية دولية والأمم المتحدة هي المرجعية لأي عملية سياسية والدور الأمريكي عمليا بالنسبة للفلسطينيين انتهى هو دور منحاز ودور معادي للفلسطينيين ويشجع إسرائيل على كل ما تقوم به أعتقد إمعان حكومة إسرائيل بإجراءات القتل The Palestinian Popular Resistance Committee still participate in the protests and have announced that the demonstrations will continue. Our simple message today here is that our struggle will continue to achieve our goals of independent self-determination for the Palestinian people. Related to the American rule, we condemned absolutely this pressure from the, Israel, the American uh, on, to put the pressure on the Palestinian shoulders. The Israeli military was not only repressing the protesters, but also provoking journalists at the site. Clashes have erupted all across the West Bank and Ramallah, Al Bira, Al Khalil, and Beit Lahim. Several injuries were reported due to live ammunition and rubber bullets. Two Palestinians were also killed by Israeli military forces. With these protests already in their second month, the Palestinians are steadfast in their demands against the Israeli crimes. And they're not only calling for an end to the Israeli occupation, but for the international community to break their silence. Hamad Hamail for Press TV, Occupied Albira.